what is it like? What's going on? And that's why this story is so meaningful because it's, it's about the return. It's about coming back from that experience, change, having a different viewpoint, a new framework to look at conversation, connection. <laughs> Three important steps in this story that we got to pay attention to. And I know you love teaching this, so let's break them down. Yes. Well, well, number one, there is a call to adventure. They call it the departure or the, the call to action. Now that call to action usually springs from a need or a want. And it's, it's you leaving what you call home and you can call home many different things you can call your comfort zone home you know we talk about the guys coming through program you're basically on your hero's journey coming through our week long because you've left everything that is familiar and comfortable to you and you're going out to into the wild something. to gain something and so that is the very first part the want the need or the call to action whether or not Somebody has forced you into that position. I think like Star Wars, right? He comes home and his, his uh, family has been killed or whatnot, Luke Skywalker. Uh, or you yourself are calling yourself out because if you had everything you, you wanted, well, there wouldn't be this call to action. So there is something that you were looking for and that has you leaving home. And I remember this growing up Sunday school, sitting in, in mass on Sundays, the prodigal son. Yes. One of the most classic parables. And, and this example runs throughout all major religions where there's this call to adventure. I need to leave home and find myself. I have to discover something about myself. I, and I will also say that you, this story is also in a lot of song as well, especially in the blues tradition of of the, the, the boy leaving the hometown on a train, going out to make something of himself and coming back and buying this town. It's so much, it's in country, it's in blues, it's in rock and roll. It's but, in Academy Award winning movies yeah. everywhere. And that's the thing, when you start to notice this pattern, you realize the stories that you hold near and dear follow this exact framework. Now let's talk about the second phase. All right, so this is called the initiation and this is where the trials learning and the victory happens. This is going out, and this is, you know, Jordan Peterson explains this as going into chaos because you've now left your comfort zone. And what happens in this moment is that everything is foreign to you. So because it's foreign to you, there is a, there is an anxiety and nervousness. Right, there's an overstimulation, the, right? You're, you're now taking in new things from the environment that you may have never encountered before. You're in a new location. You just said it best. There is over, overly stimulated. There's stimulus everywhere. And you are trying to compute it all and make sense of it because it's foreign to you. You've never seen it before. So this puts you in a fight or flight mode. We all know what our emotional response is to a fight or flight. And this is, I was laughing about this because I, I looked at this very thing of recently, uh, after we went to, to Vienna, uh, I had went over to, to Budapest for a few days, uh, well, for a week, see some friends and I really enjoy the country. And the first day that I was there, when I first woke up that morning and walked outside now comparatively to sleepy, uh, conservative Vienna, Budapest was full on. And it's certainly from the moment I walked out of my hotel room. And what was funny is because I, we talk about these things all the time. And so they're so in on my mind when it's happening. So I'm having an emotional response to pure chaos. Um, it's, people and I'm right in the city and it's crazy. And, I, and my, my emotional, but the thing, the first thing I want to do was maybe I should go back in and lay down. <laughs> it's like, well, no, I had this whole week. I'm going to go explore. And I, I went out and I, what was funny about this was all the stimuli has hit me and I was so overwhelmed and it, it felt comparatively from Vienna, like just a cold glass of water thrown in my face. Wake up. You're in the New York of, of Eastern Europe now, and it's full on. It wasn't until a few days later, and this is the 
where you, the learning process comes in where I went for a 10 mile jog through the city uh, and around the Danube and on the island of the Danube and back home. It was at that point where I had mapped out internally where I was and, and basically mapping out the chaos. And so now I had, because of that run, there was a calmness that had come over me that I now own this area, right? I had made it mine. And now it, it wasn't until up until that point that I could chill out, but it was now at that point, I remember coming home and I had a, a cup of coffee and I was like, I, I love Budapest. I am ready to go see it now. Cause I had now put together some of the stimuli that was so overwhelming at first. And this is the learning aspect. And then perhaps the, the victory of whatever that may be, finding whatever it is that gaining you need. Gaining the new skill. Gaining the new skill, and that's the most important because people need to understand in the hero's journey that every time you leave and you make sense out of chaos, you now come back with something that you previously didn't have. Yeah, that knowledge, that education is a big part of it. And, and this is classically where all those trials happen, right? There's gonna be some struggle here, there's gonna be some figuring out, and then ultimately we wanna get to the payoff. Mm -hmm. Now, that is the initiation phase. The, the third and final phase, and my favorite phase, is the <laughs> return. This is coming back to where the story begins, yes. but you've changed. Yes. You're a better person. You got outside of your comfort zone. You gain that skill. You gain that knowledge. You gain that valuable experience. And when we talk to uh, potential clients about taking the program and boot camp, of course, their first questions are, well, what is it like? What's going on? And that's why this story is so meaningful because it's, it's about the return. It's about coming back from that experience, change, having a different viewpoint, a new framework to look at conversation, connection. But I feel alive